Hey everybody, I've been wanting to do a video on the new cart for a while. I've had it for about two months. It's a Bentelli 4PR. And I chose this for a few different reasons. One is just because it's different than other stuff that's on the market. Uh, so a little bit about it. I mean, it has the uh, six inch lift. It is the lifted version. It's got some nice 14 inch wheels with 23 inch tires. It does have the aluminum frame, similar to Club Car. It's got a trailing A-arm suspension. And it also comes with, let's see if I can get it in here, four-wheel hydraulic disc brakes. They're not power assisted, but it is a pretty cool feature. Uh, the step height coming in is a little high. There's a few upgrades I'm wanting to do. One is to put a uh, Nerf bar on the side there. Coming around to the front, you'll see that it's got uh, LEDs, it also has front marker lights and turn signals. It comes factory with this little brush guard here. And it also has these side mirrors. This is a DOT windshield and it has a windshield wiper on it as well. And it's got a nice little body styling to it. The back seat folds down into a nice little cargo tray here. And it also has a nice little bit of storage down here. You can fit some binoculars, box of Kleenex, rags, extra golf balls, groceries, whatever you need as you're out and about. Easily flips forward. And there's cup holders. It does come with seat belts. And those seat belts are pretty good for small children. Uh, when it comes to adults, they are not exactly fit for the shoulders. It is a little bit better in the front. Uh, you can see that. The height on this is the same for front and rear. And the side profile shows you that the rear seat is a bit higher. So the seat belts are a bit more comfortable for adults in the front rather than the back. Moving around, it's got this nice little step. It's got a nice thick plastic uh, diamond plated kind of look to it. Some reflectors. It is street legal, so we got a license plate on here with license plate light and rear view camera. Shout out to McKelvin Surf Shop, Folly Beach. And one of the other things I did to it was I added a Viper motorcycle alarm system and put some vinyl right here, just so that as I'm putting my clubs in that little area right there, it uh, doesn't scratch up the surface. Moving around to the driver's area, it does have a nice, comfortable uh, leather, fake leather wrapped steering wheel with a little bit of padding. The dash right here gives you your speed miles i'm up to 667 miles so far two months not too bad also lets you know the parking brakes on if there's a battery issue check engine light it's also got turn signals for left and right down here below there's hazard lights it shows you those it does come with some three and a half or three and a quarter inch speakers uh, they're marine grade they're okay i replaced them with uh, the kicker cs speakers already got some cup holders spots to put your golf balls and tees the reverse camera and when you put it in reverse hopefully it'll show up on the camera yep you can see it just shows you what's in the back and there's some little guidelines there as well another nice little bit is there's a locking box right over here and when you're inside here you can unlock the box drop it down it's big enough for some golf tees, uh, vehicle registration insurance, tire pressure gauge. And if you want to throw your cell phone in there, or wallet while you're at the beach, you can do that as well. It has these nice little magnets right here. So as you put it up, it keeps it for you. And then you can lock it back. And like I said, it's got a windshield wiper right here that does a pretty decent job of keeping the rain off. And nice big center rear view mirror there. Let's see, what else can I tell you about it? It's got a gas pedal, it's got a brake pedal. No, it doesn't have a gas pedal. It's got an accelerator pedal and a brake pedal. It's got a dedicated parking brake right here, like some of the others that integrate into the brake. You don't have to worry about going down the street and accidentally hitting that top corner and locking your brakes up going down the road, especially since this has the uh, four wheel hydraulic brakes on it. Uh, some other little bits. It does have a body colored roof, matches the hydro blue that this comes in. The hydro and the navy blue were my two top picks and I wasn't sure which one I was gonna go with. But I went with the hydro because it was the only one 
this was the only one they had in stock. They had a couple of the navies, some grays, the red. A couple of other things real quick. Here in the driver's area, you'll see that it has 48 volt batteries. These are US battery. Some of them also come with the Trojans. It does have an onboard smart charger with its own little charging cable. And you can see right here where I've got the uh, Viper alarm system for it. Any kind of movement or shock will set that off, as few people in parking lots will tell you. Uh, back here behind, I've already got a additional DC converter to run all my power. I plan on getting a second one as well to run the uh, extra stereo for it. And something else to add to this video, it does have an AC motor at the back. And I'll see if I can get a bit of the rear suspension in there. It does have the solid axle. It's almost Jeep-like, but the baby version. Yeah, if you got any questions about it, just drop them in the comments. Or if you know me, just send me a text. Yeah, anything you want to know about it, let me know. I'm going to be doing some upgrades to the radio, speakers, maybe throw an amplifier on it. I don't know, about a 300 watt rock Fosgate or something crazy like that. Get some Nerf bars, party bar maybe across the top, LED lights. May try to get some uh, wheel lights going on it. It would be an interesting little build. Alright, and the next few videos coming up, I'll see if I can get a test ride in so you can see what it's like on the road, because it does get up to 25 miles per hour. And check out the lights, turn signals, maybe hear about what's good and bad about it. Alright, see you next time.